What's up guys, good morning. This is Marcel from One Dapper Street. Oh, excuse me. We are here in Paris, day number two. I'm wearing my new coat from Ami and we're about to see the Marcello Zoo. Come inside with me, come. It's cool in there. Uh, let me talk while we're walking. We have a few things going on today. So I hope you guys are excited to see a little bit more of a glimpse of the Paris Fashion Week. My entire outfit, as I mentioned to you, corduroy is a big thing. So I went to Cost yesterday and bought this corduroy ensemble that I'm actually really happy with. It's kind of baggy, but I like it. It's cool, it's a little different. First time seeing the Maison Margiela show. I'm excited. Take a look. That was Marcella. Obviously, it's not so much about wearability with this one. It was just basically art walking down the runway. It was beautiful to look at and, and just so insanely creative. On another note, that's a scooter cap. <laughs> We're waiting for the Uber. Next presentation, we're gonna look at shoes. That was Sana Yi 313, and now we're off to Acme. It's gonna happen right here. Acme absolutely killed it. Simple but different, just beautiful pieces that were, I don't know, amazing. <laughs> just as amazing as the Starbucks. This is Starbucks. Here in Paris. It's beautiful. Getting our Uber. Yay! Love Uber. Everywhere. Uh, going to the Palais de Tokyo for the Ceruti. I think that's how you pronounce it. A lot of people call it Ceruti. But that's obviously the American pronunciation. Going to that show, thanks to Nicola, who you saw yesterday in the vlog. If you haven't seen that vlog, go check that out up here. He got me the invite, so yay, go, Nicola. Hey, 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 let's do the show. Guys, how's it going? This is Marcel Flores from One Dapper Street, and we're here in Paris for Men's Fashion Week. If I had to just invest in one piece, I think I just saw it walk down the runway. It's an olive green shearling that's belted by Ceruti. How beautiful was that? That was easily my favorite show so far, and now I'm out here with all my friends. Like, Mark, Mark you are on my photo, Brian. <laughs> no? <laughs> and I just met this guy, Ali. First time, he's Parisian, Turkish. Quickly, about the show, oh my god, everything was so wearable. It was like, I wanted to wear, like, aside from like two or three looks maybe, I would have worn anything and everything as is. And uh, currently, just, just to check out this really quick. What's up? That's the view right here, I love Paris. So we're gonna grab drinks right now and I think I'm actually gonna sign off for today. I'm gonna take you around Paris tomorrow because there's not that many shows. So Brian, it's first time here in Paris. We're actually gonna go out and explore a little bit. So I'm, I'm excited and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. And a wonderful good morning to you guys. It's another day, it was rainy this morning. The sun's coming out now. There's actually blue skies, blue skies. You see that? We're gonna grab some protein bars and then stroll around Paris. Into your river, swim my little deeper. I don't need to breathe with my head underwater. So we're just walking along, and then Brian turns around and says, Oh my god! And I was like, Oh my god, what? I hope you guys enjoyed the little stroll through Paris with that. I'm gonna say goodbye for today's vlog.
Officine Generale, it was so beautiful, so wearable. All these guys loved it too. All these guys. You know all these guys. I think by now, you should, if you watched all the vlogs, I think you should know all these guys except for him. Hi, introduce yourself, Hi. please. Ah, le petit français. Ravi. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was quick. No, le petit français. Yeah, yeah, hey, that's fine. The, the little French. <laughs> yeah. You're not that little. Uh, no, I know. <laughs> I work. <laughs> And now we're going to the Lomba show. I'm so excited. Lomba is honestly probably one of my, like next to Diorum, one of my favorite brands for like simple, beautiful, well designed clothes. So, next show! That was the Lone Vaughn show, I think Drew over there. Yeah, I loved it. It was my favorite show I've ever seen. <laughs> it was, it was, for men's. Yeah, yeah so no good. No lies. Love those transitions you're doing here. Yeah, you know, it's, it's very, it's very advanced it's very vlogging. You wouldn't know. Yeah, I wouldn't know, I'm not a vlogger. <laughs> the pieces were amazing. The outerwear was, was fantastic. Just the way, the way the suit fabrics were integrated in functional outerwear and coats. And I actually like the layering. It's more so the, the like neon colors in the looks that kind of threw me off, but it was my first time at the Le Mans show and it was, it was great, it was cool. It's a special moment. Next up, Agnes B. So that was straight from Agnes B to Clairserie. Agnes B was like a little bit all over the place. We had like 70s, 70s vibes and then some, some like 1920s Britain vibes. Like a little bit all over the place but some really cool pieces in there. And just now we got the walkthrough of the Clairserie brand, brand of the Clairserie, oh my God, with the French accent and then cutting back to the English. <laughs> it's a traditional French brand from like uh, in between Lyon and Marseille. They're like handcrafted straw shoes. They were beautiful, but with a sneaker bottom, like cool, cool things. Hopefully it's getting picked up by stores and you guys will be able to shop this collection in America coming like May or June. So this is like, this is the fun of what we're seeing right now. What, 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 where we are here in Paris, like the entire thing, it may or may not end up in stores. It's still buyers are coming here and they're selecting what they want and like writing about it, talking about it but maybe none of this stuff ever sees the light of day. Hopefully it will, because that was beautiful. And after a quick break and an alpha change, we're off to the Alfred Dunhill show. Last one, guys. And that was Dunhill and Paul Andrew. Dunhill really surprised with their runway show because they're usually known for traditional menswear like Savile Road type tailoring and it was not that. It was, it was leather pants, a whole lot of leather, beautiful jacks, but obviously the suiting was on point. I really liked the outerwear. So that was great and Paul Andrew is a friend of mine. He is a New York shoe designer. He designed for many, many great houses, primarily women's wear, but he also has a menswear collection that's really cool. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll put the link right up there. In case you guys haven't noticed, I'm back in New York already. So I uh, didn't vlog anymore in Paris and then the next morning got super crazy. So currently I'm packing, actually kind of like halfway through already. And look at where I am. New York, back home. Feels so good, feels great. At this point I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon with the next video. This was the last vlog. This is it from, from Europe. I hope you guys liked the trip, liked getting a kind of a behind the scenes glimpse of what was going on. I'll see you guys very soon. I have no idea what my next video is gonna be, but 2018 is wide open. I look forward to it with you guys. ODS squad, that's what's up. I'll see you guys with the next video. Stay dapper, bye.